So I've been having some trouble catching anything on live bait. Right now, all I have left is one shiner from my last video to fish with. That big creek chub and the other shiners didn't catch me anything. And that night was a really bad night, which I may talk about someday on a live stream. So be sure to subscribe to my channel. You never know what I might talk about in the future. For now, I'm gonna put this shiner on the bottom of my local creek where I catch bluegill to see if anything will grab it. And while I'm waiting on a bite, I'm gonna catch some bluegill to fish with later, since I already have my bucket and everything with me. I'm going to get the line in the water and hope I can catch the very first fish on my new whisker seeker, the full metal jacket whisker seeker. This guy is so fast, I'm gonna have to use a net. I can keep them in my hand. That's what I'm using. cast but I'm gonna leave it where it's at. I'm gonna use my cart as the rod holder. I'm gonna leave it engaged too. I have a knot that will stop the sinker slide so letting it run would be a bad idea and we don't have much room for anything to run here anyway as you've seen in some of my prior carp videos. I'm gonna change out this water and then start catching some bluegill. I'm gonna be using big red worms and I'm not gonna use a bobber. I'm gonna try just using it on the bottom. Maybe I can pick up a creek chub or two here. First fish. They always like jumping out of my hands. So the video is officially not skunked. I say eventually if I keep at it, I'll catch something on live bait. I was hooked snag, so I gotta keep my sinker. For bluegill, I like using these really tiny octopus style hooks. I think these are the cheap South Bend you can get at Walmart for like 99 cents. And they're not a circle hook, the point of the hook isn't pointed at the eye. I've seen people use hooks like these with thread fins to catch smallmouth bass which is what I originally bought them for and never caught any smallmouth bass. There we go. This guy was in the current. It's a big one. Same fish that I have on the line. and put him in the bucket. Another snag. A 
a lot of wood in the water there. I guess I just got lucky. I'm gonna re-rig and try to catch a couple more bluegill on the bluegill side. It is quickly becoming another bait fishing video. <laughs> Got a little bitty one. Little bitty bluegill. He was out in the current. I think this guy's just a little bit too small, so I'm going to put him back in the water. It's getting dark out and we got rain heading this way. So I probably got about 30 more minutes before I'm going to have to pack all this up. Two fish to use as bait is good enough for me. One of the things I wish I had done here was bring a bobber. I don't have a bobber in my tackle bag. And one of these days I want to convert over to like a tackle backpack. If you guys know a good tackle backpack that I should try to get, let me know in the comments below. Got another one out of the current seam. Sunfish. I don't think this is a bluegill. This guy has some pretty orange on him. Take a look at that. I'm going to keep him for bait. He's big enough. I'm going to try tossing a whole one out. Maybe I'll get a bullhead. That's typical creek fishing for you. Lots of snags in the water. I think this is a cold front that's hitting us right now. Temperature is going down. We're getting a lot of wind. There's rain coming. My camera's not waterproof, so I can't film with it in the rain. And I really don't like the footage the GoPro creates. But someday I may try to get a weather sealed mirrorless camera. My first stick fish. All right, I'm going to take off. Caught three fish and nothing on the live bait. At least I got three fish to fish with later on. I do see like a, what looks like a rain line heading this way. I wanna get my camera up and get the baits back to my house. Hopefully it won't rain tomorrow so I can try fishing with them and see if I can get a flathead or something with them. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and thank you guys again. See you next time.